What I'm going to try to explain is the overall popularity of Donald Trump, and what does it really mean, and what is it really saying to everyone? We have a country that's totally out of control. We have no laws anymore. We have no order. And we'll be covering two separate points, which is credibility of the media and credibility of politicians. But what I mean by media is cable news, network news, newspapers, magazines, where most of your information comes from. If I had to get right down to it, it's about credibility. And does Donald Trump have more credibility than the current candidates? The obvious answer is yes. Yes, he does. For two different reasons. One, Donald Trump always does what he says he's going to do. We believe that. Or we at least he's going to make an honest attempt at it. And the second is that we have all gotten used to the fact that politicians really seem to lie half of the time. They try to do something or they will do something and they just don't do it. Whether it's on the Republican side, Democrat side, or any of the sides. But what's turning out to be the most important part of the story is how the media is going against Donald Trump, period. They think, of course, that we're viewing it as vetting, but it's turning out to be much more personal than that. I don't want to try to get into the weeds on this. You can simply go to Google and type in Donald Trump uh, media scandal, and you'll see time and time and time again uh, him fighting with Univision or a newspaper or a particular press reporter trying to dig up old records of him and his wife from 30 years ago. But what I really want to get to the point of is this. What Donald seems to be doing is beating the reporters at their own game. They accuse him of wrongdoing, and then he proves that somewhat he is right, which then questions the reporters. And are they really venting him, or are they trying to shape the election? And now we get into something that many Americans have been feeling for the last 15 years, that the media is not reporting anymore. They are trying to shape outcomes, shape elections and where they feel it needs to be. To give you clarity, a small, say, local TV station can have no more than maybe 30 employees, but yet they will affect elections for more than maybe 5 million people. And that's what the popularity of Donald Trump is really telling us. They're telling us a couple of different things. One, we don't like the media like we used to. We don't like the news organizations. Maybe we like opinion news only because it confirms what we believe and also it bashes the other guy. Two, he's telling us that we don't trust politicians and if we have a choice, we'll take the non-politician choice. And you know what? Donald may not get elected, we just don't know. But for all of his faults, he seems to be better than all the rest.